Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Jamila here. I know it's been a hot, hot minute, long time, no talk, but I am back and I wanted to come back and show you guys my updated wash day routine. I've really been liking it. I've been doing these consistently for the past couple of months and it's really been making my wash day easier. I still pretty much do the same steps, but I think the order I do them in and the products I use have really, really helped. So I've just been wearing my hair in these braids. Um, yeah, that's just been my go-to hairstyle as of lately. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. <laughs> so I'm just gonna unravel those and I'm gonna use this product, you guys. This is from Natural Kinks and they have this leave-in detangler that you're actually supposed to leave into your hair, but I do not actually like to use it that way. I use it as a detangler, but one that you wash out. So I wash it out. I don't like to leave it in my hair for whatever reason. Um, I like it so much more how I use it. And they actually sent me this, their whole product line. And I have repurchased this detangler about three times already and I am about to purchase it again because I love it that much. It just has so much slip. It's all natural and it really helps making um, detangling and combing through my hair a breeze and it's very, it makes it very gentle on my hair and reduces breakage. So I love it. So I'm just going to put that on each section and I'm going to take this brush it's sort of like really comb like but it's a brush and I'm going to just gently detangle each section brush through each section and twist it up before I move on to the next step All right, so my hair is all detangled and twisted up. So now I'm just gonna move on and I'm going to do my shampoo. So today I'm going to shampoo my hair and I'm gonna use this tea gel. It is really good for reducing dandruff and flakes and controlling an itchy scalp. And you know, sometimes I get flakes and dandruff and it's not cute, but I find this shampoo to be very effective. So what I do is I will sort of wet my scalp and then I will go in with the shampoo and just massage that into my scalp and I leave it in my scalp for about 10 minutes before I hop into the shower and continue with my um, wash day routine. And so with this shampoo, I go back and forth. So I'll use this tea gel shampoo one week and then the next week I'll go in with my regular shampoo, which I will show you guys later on in the video. So I do want to say that even though I'm using the extra strength uh, tea gel shampoo, I've never used the regular strength, but I do have sort of sensitive skin and I do not find that this irritates my skin at all. Um, it's not too strong for my skin at all. Um, and if you look at reviews, you're going to see over and over again that people say that this shampoo is very effective, but they're also going to say that it has a very strong bad scent that lingers and I have to say that had me worried, but I sort of disagree. It's not that bad. It's not a bad scent at all to me. And I don't think the smell really lingers like that, especially if you use other products in your hair after you wash it. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes and now I have hopped into the shower. And like I said, I sort of go back, I do go back and forth between this shampoo, which is by Natural Kinks again. And this is their black soap shampoo. It is all natural and it is so effective. I love it on my hair. Um, but like I said, I go back and forth between the tea gel and my regular shampoo um, because I try to control the flakes and the itchiness on my scalp. 
So what I do is I rinse out the tea gel and then I go in with the second shampoo with the tea gel. And now one thing that I've changed in my wash day routine is I do not only apply shampoo to my scalp anymore. I actually do bring it down the length of my hair, but I just do so when my hair is still in the twist. And I'm telling you guys, it really changes the game when it comes to the effectiveness of your styling products. Like before I was doing this, I had this moisturizer um, that I almost was going to toss because it wasn't doing good in my hair at all. But then I started to wash the length of my hair and it started to just absorb into my hair better. It made, it just, all of a sudden, it was just like a totally new product I was using in my hair. So yeah, now I just wash all of my hair, the whole length of my hair, but I still keep it in the twists. And I just make sure that I moisturize my hair really well after I wash it. So now I'm just going to wash out this tea gel shampoo and I'm going in, I'm going straight in with a deep conditioner. This is another thing I switched up. I really don't really use a regular conditioner anymore. I just go straight in with the deep conditioner. Um, and so I'll put that in my hair. I'll sort of rub it all over my hair before I go through each section and detangle and add a little more conditioner to each section. But yeah, I just go straight in with the deep conditioner because I'm just like, why metal with a regular conditioner? I'm just gonna go in with the deep conditioner. Um, and this is what I do on a typical wash day. I do use, I do do a whole deep conditioning treatment for like 30 minutes after I shampoo my hair, but I don't do that all the time. I'll do that like once or twice a month. Um, but this is what I do on the regular. I really have stopped buying regular conditioners and I just go in with a deep conditioner after I shampoo. And because I thoroughly detangled my hair before I hopped into the shower, detangling my hair is so much easier and so much more pleasant. And I don't have to worry about the water getting cold before I finish washing my hair and my body. And also when I'm brushing and combing through my hair with the deep conditioner, I do turn the water off. So I'm sure that helps too. But honestly, this probably takes about 15 minutes. Honestly, I should have timed it. It probably takes 15 minutes for me to comb through each section of my hair with the conditioner in it. And usually when it gets to this like top one, I'll just get a little bit of conditioner off one of my off of one of my other twists. And it is honestly enough to cover cover this little section of hair. So yeah, I'll just sort of borrow some conditioner from my other twists and just use it on that section because it works. All right, so my hair is all detangled and it is covered in deep conditioner. So what I would do is I would just twist and pin up my hair and then I will continue washing my body just so that the deep conditioner can sit in my hair for a little bit. You know, I just wash my body off and continue, but I wanted to get done filming. So I'm just going to go on to the next step and the final step, which is to rinse out my deep conditioner. So I just rinse out my deep conditioner and I'm pretty much done with my wash day routine. What I really love about this is that the process of washing my hair when I'm actually in the shower is fast. I get it all done and get to wash my body before the water gets hot. I mean, before the water gets cold and detangling my hair is a breeze. So I don't know. I just... It's just like a stress-free wash day routine. It's really not a big deal. I love it. I've been doing this consistently for the past probably five months. And 
yeah, it's been working for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys get to check out the products. If you think they'll help you, I highly recommend that um, detangler from Natural Kinks. And I also highly recommend um, that tea gel if you have an itchy scalp or you have a flaky scalp or dandruff at times. And also that shampoo from Natural Kinks. The deep conditioner I like as well is, um, I think it's the Rosemary Mint deep conditioner from Miel Organics. Um, but you know, I don't have a staple deep conditioner, but that is a really good deep conditioner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.